curiosity going wild do these names appear familiar in any way george orwell and eric are the blair those among you with some literary bent might have heard of george orwell as the author of 1984 and animal farm but take from me a man named george orwell was never born hence never died george orwell is immortal because it is the pet name of the motor blair this shifting of personality from blair to orwell could be accounted only in a sheet named curiosity it is indeed good to be curious but what if curiosity is taken to maddest extremes that was what eric blair did in order not to tarnish his family members in the name of his weird experiments with the curiosity blair in a way took asylum behind a pseudonym he was instably curious and hence was irreplaceably creative there exists a one to one correspondence between curiosity and creativity once eric blair deliberately got himself arrested so that he could spend christmas in prison he was curious to that extent to see what it would be like unfortunately the police authorities had not been that much creative and they released him finding him disorderly behavior not serious enough to be interned blair was born into an elite wealthy upper class family and was educated at the famous eton college but fortunately or unfortunately he was fascinated by how people at the opposite end of social spectrum lived he began dressing in a ragged clothes and shoes and lived rough on the streets of london and paris with beggars and the homeless reading about poverty was not enough for him he wanted to experience it for himself blaise experiences were recorded in the book down and out in paris and london it contains vivid experiences of the places and characters he found living on the margins although he describes the squalor and degradation in detail the result is fascinating and re- revealing he exposes extraordinary life stories as well as the resourcefulness and resilience of people discarded by the society it is no wonder that he changed his name to orwell so that his parents and friends wouldn't be embarrassed by the extremes of his adventures a creative future belongs to the curious curiosity makes us come alive it fills us with wonder and the urge to search we discover hidden worlds our imaginations are ignited it drives us to keep questioning and to keep discovering so if you want to be creative be passionately curious as albert einstein said the important thing is not to stop questioning curiosity has its own reason for existing thinking about a subject is important but the creative think creatively and they question creatively and they research creatively that's the difference between ordinary people and the creative people we can decide not to be curious but denying room for curiosity means denying room for creativity curiosity refreshes stale viewpoints and creates new perspectives